Hello, and welcome to the Badger MSP. Today I'll be showing you the Badger MSP app, which you can download from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once you've downloaded it, you will see Badger MSP. And if you open the app, you will log in as a technician on that system. And first things first, you will see your on sites, your clients that you can search through, your sites that you can search through. And I can search through any user that belongs to a client of mine. If I go back to the on sites page, you'll see a couple of different ones, different colors. The green is anything that's booked for myself today. The blue is anything that's happened in the future. And the red one is something that's happened in the past, but hasn't been completed. I've created myself an on site in a previous video. I show, showed you how to do that. Once that's created, the technician will see it here, he gets the site, clicks on the on-site. It'll show him what he needs to do in, under tasks. And once I get to site, I will click on start on-site assist. Once I've done all my tasks, or if there's multiples, I can tick them off as I go. In this case, I need to check and test the internet at Stellenbosch University. So I've done that. I'm happy that I've done that. The technician can then put in a response and can give comments on what he did for that task. Now that task is completed and I'm ready to go, I can click Stop Onsite Assist. I can still resume this onsite. If there's anything else that needs to happen, I need to stay on site and, and reinitiate the timer. Otherwise, I can click Complete. And now it will show you the time being tracked. In this case, I've started and stopped it at the same time, so I have to edit that just so that I can save it. In this case, I'm going to give it an extra few minutes. You've got an additional report that you can add in here. I can say internet has been tested or anything else that I need to do. Any upgrade recommendations that I need to, to, to mention. Um, you've also got the option of the advanced settings where if this was a project and it's been pre-booked with certain hours that have been quoted for, I can override the hours that I've spent. In this case, I'm just going to leave that off and I'm going to click OK. And that is now my call out that's completed. You will see it's disappeared from the list and that will go into our billing system. And you can build that client for that time spent on site. Thank you very much.